Happy New Year. Whatever you're doing tonight, try not to get too sozzled. You've got a big year ahead. What am I doing? Well, thank you for asking. I've got no plans, and I've picked up a cold, so it's probably better I don't do anything anyway. But I hope whatever you're doing, you have a great time. Well, I'm back again, and this time I'm here to talk about myself in all my awkward glory. But before I do, I wanted to say a very special thank you to everyone who has shared the link and pre-ordered the album so far. I am humbled and so incredibly thankful for all of your support. A few days ago, I set that release date, and let me tell you, it was way harder psychologically than I was expecting. So seriously, thank you. You've given me an injection of encouragement and a booster of self-confidence, and I just can't thank you enough for that. There's a link in the description if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, quick little update on what I've been doing. On Friday, I was in the studio at Sweet Daddy Sound with my good buddy, John McLeod, to record some final vocals, and when you know it, two weird things happened. Number one, I got sick, which is not the ideal situation for recording vocals. Number two, we powered through for a while anyway, and at one point, John sparked an epiphany, and now I'm changing the entire melody of a song, and actually freaking love when this happens because the song in question is one that has sort of been my bane from the start and now I know what wasn't working with it. Melissa's been saying something along these lines for years that part of it is that it's a song Phil and I made but that was designed for him to sing, for his voice and for his style. I can't and don't want to emulate him. I can and do want to do justice to the music we started and as soon as my voice clears up I'm back at it to finish what is now to me a renewed love for a song with a whole new melody. This is so much fun sometimes. Okay, so anyway, what's this video? <laughs> well, this is gonna get pretty weird so buckle up. Lately and I don't know for how long, I've been confused about who I am as a person. So the other night I asked myself straight up, who am I? This is what I wrote. Who am I? That used to be an easy question. In the grand scheme of things, I'm nobody. Insignificant. But who am I to me? I'm a weirdo, at least I think think I am what I do know is that it's really hard to remember that guy that I used to be I mean I remember him but I remember him in the same way that I remember characters in a movie or a TV show or something he was brash and bold he was young and vibrant he had inner peace and a lust for life he was mostly happy he had a lot of fun not much I know he maybe had a little bit too much fun sometimes, but I think for the most part, he kept it in check. And somewhere along the way, the weight of the world started to crush him. Slowly at first, the news, the politics, social media drama, dead-end jobs, botched relationships, financial instability, it all slowly pecked away at him. He was still there, but part of him was missing now, chewed up and spit out by reality. He still shows up from time to time when playing live music or just hanging with friends and family. And he's been there through meeting and falling in love with Melissa over and over for more than 20 years now. He was there the day my daughter was born. He's been there most of the time, but then one day he just wasn't. I wasn't. It's been a long time since I was. There's not like one moment or specific thing that happened. He just disappeared. I mean, a lot of him's still in here somewhere. But for a while, he became something else. Something dark. 
on the outside, I think he mostly presented as the same, but on the inside, there was, and still is, a huge empty void. The odd thing is, it's not like scary. It's just nothing. It is almost inviting sometimes, and that's what is scary. There's a me that wants to go in there. There's there's a me that wants to jump into the void, just let it swallow me. But there's another me that wants to run the complete opposite direction. And sometimes it's hard to know which me is me. Now, I have sorted myself out at least somewhat recently as to who I am. I'm not who I used to be, that's for sure, and that's okay, because he still exists in here with me as memories and experiences that I've been drawing from to try to create the me that I'm becoming now. I haven't liked me very much for a while now, but this new me is growing on me. This me, this I, have a passion to create. He also had it. But he was so damn easily distracted by literally anything and everything. While he had a great personal and intellectual life, he mostly stumbled through the rest of existence, not having a purpose, not having ambition, mind racing all over the place, never really able to focus for very long, procrastinating. Anyone who knows me well can probably tell you I have a real issue going for something I want and really trying at anything beyond basic survival. Except for music. Or anything creative, really. But I do tend to get in my own way. A lot. I want to fix that part. I want to become more. I want to break the chains I've locked myself up in and be free. But my brain has trouble focusing. A lot of the time I have this dense fog that slows and even blocks out my thoughts. And that's why I've started writing this down. I can write something and edit it to be more clear and concise than I ever could be off the cuff. And this is not just me being dramatic, it's true and there's a reason for it. In 2010, I got diagnosed with MS. And it hit me hard. Not just the psychological impact, but physically. I went completely numb down my entire left side. Even my tongue was split down the middle. I started to have trouble walking. I couldn't balance. My legs would shake like crazy when I tried. I had excruciating pain all over my body. Under my skull felt like fire ants were crawling all over my brain all the time. I don't want to get too far into this, so let's just say it sucked for years. But over time, I found something that works for me fairly well, and these days it's pretty mild, and I've mostly come to terms with it. The worst part for me now is that thick fog that always seems to roll in at the worst time. But anyway, that's physical. Right now... I want to focus on this psychological, spiritual me. The me that is introverted, awkward and shy, yet absolutely loves singing on stage. The, the me that often gets so far up in his own head that he cuts off the outside world. The me that is lost. The me that is broken. I want to pull myself out of the darkness of my own mind. I want to open myself up and fix what's broken. I want to share my true self with the world and really connect with other people again. Because I can remember a lot more connection and I miss it. I crave it. So what do I do? Well, I think I've figured out what I can do. I can create. It's the only thing I've ever been any good at, or at least had any passion for. Okay, great. Something to strive for. Something to give me purpose. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm creating things to share with the world, because that is now my purpose, if there is such a thing. In this new world of AI 
and generational programming, it's going to be so damn important, at least to me, to have real people still creating art and having original ideas. And I want, no, I need to be part of it. In some sense, creating something from nothing is really the only meaning I can find in this weird-ass thing we call life. I mean, when you boil it down, isn't that a big reason why we have children? To create something, to mold it and sculpt it as best we can, and set it free to hopefully thrive on its own long after we're gone? So, anyway, right now, I'm working on creating music. Next, I might try to work on another film or a parody or a painting or a sculpture or something. Who knows? But I have to create. That's the foundation. I'm building this project from this me. Is this a lucrative prospect? Probably not. But at this moment in my life, it's the only thing I am able to stay focused on in any meaningful way. It's the only way I've found to stay true to who I am and to who I aspire to be. So who am I? I'm JK. I'm a creator. What the hell does that mean? Well, like and subscribe and find out with me. I expect this is going to be one hell of a bumpy ride one way or another, but I'm all in. And look, I know this probably sounds insane, but this is who I am. But I'm not always all super melodramatic like this. This is just something I'm working through and sharing who I am with everybody is an important part of that for me. If you like me, come and hang out with me. If you don't like me, that's okay too. You can still come hang, just be cool, damn. And if you're on the fence, all I can promise to all of you is that what you see is what you get. I used to have a lot of walls up. Or I guess I should say, he had a lot of walls up. Most of those walls collapsed when he did. This, this is me. I'm promoting an album right now, and I wanted to be completely open and honest about who I am right from the start. One day I'll start making comedy again, but this current album project has themes based in a lot of what I just talked about. Soon I'm going to be pushing myself way farther out of my comfort zone, so stay tuned for that. Should be interesting at least. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. A link to a pre-order page is down there in the description if your interest is piqued. Hopefully now you know a little bit about who I am. Please, let me know who you are. Thank you. I love you. Happy New Year. Till next time.